In today's video, I'll be showing you how to change the size of the eraser tool or rubber tool, whatever you want to call it, within Paint on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So as you might already know, if I select the eraser tool and then over on the right hand side here, we have size. So we can use these options here to change the size of the rubber tool. So currently the smallest size you can go with is four and the maximum size is 10. So if I quickly change the background color, I'm just going to change it to a blue. If I then select the eraser tool or rubber tool and then go to size and then select four, as you can see, it's quite small. If I then change it to 10, again, it's not the biggest eraser and we can actually make it a lot bigger, just like we can make it smaller. And to do this, all you need to do is hold down control on your keyboard and then press the plus symbol on the numpad. And straight away, you will notice that the eraser tool square has got larger and that's the maximum size that you can do that I've just done there. So to make it smaller, again, you can hold down control and then press the minus and then it will go smaller. And you can see it's actually really small there. So you might be wondering if you are missing the numpad, how can you do this? So there is another way you can do this. You can open up the start menu and then type in keyboard. You then need to click on on screen keyboard. If you don't see the option, then you'll have to type in on and then hyphen screen keyboard. You will then have a keyboard come on the screen. Next, you need to click onto options. You now need to tick this option here that says turn on numeric keypad and then click on OK. You will now see the num keypad on the right hand side here. So again, click onto paint. So I've just clicked onto paint there. And then you need to click onto control and you now need to click on the plus. So this can take a little while depending on how big or small you want because obviously on a normal keyboard you can just hold down the key. You do need to make sure though that you do have paint selected when you do this. So if I go control again and go plus, you can see that the square is slowly getting larger. Like I said, it's not the fastest way of doing it, but it does work. So there we go, you can see the squares getting bigger, the rubber or razor. If I then do control again and then do minus this time, you will then notice every time I go over there, it's getting smaller. So that is how you change the size of the eraser tool in paint. I hope this video has helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos just like this one, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.